Hey Tash, where are we? We are at Elephant Seal Vista, just south of Big Sur. Checking out these big mammals in their natural habitat. It's actually been so, so, so fun. We ran into two locals who are really passionate about elephant seals and have been doing this for 25 plus years. And we had a whole bunch of questions when we first arrived. Just curious questions like, uh, what happens to the babies when they die? Because last time when we were here, we saw a pup get smashed by a male in attempting to mate. As well as, what do they feed on? What are they doing here? How long have they been here? And we were able to talk to Dave and Sandra who taught us a lot. I feel like I got my PhD in elephant seals actually. <laughs> a couple curious facts that you guys might be interested in learning yourselves is that these creatures actually, um, they have, so there's a theory that humans possibly came from the ocean, right? And these creatures actually have the same bone structure from their hands up to their shoulders. They even have fingernails. And you'll notice if you observe them, how they grab each other, grab their own faces, scratch their noses. It's really quite strange, but it makes sense that their hands are the same as ours with how they use them. And then in addition, I think it's pretty interesting um, that, what was I just talking to you about actually? Um, a lot. <laughs> we learned so much, but basically, oh, they're faster than humans. So back in the day before they had this path, you used to actually be able to go down there with them and they had prop a couple people have been med backed out of here as a result because you think that they're slow because they're big they weigh up to like two pound two tons i think like five thousand pounds something like that and um they're, they're really fast you wouldn't know oh the other thing too is like all of their sexual organs are internal so even the males they have like what they call a penis hole so you you don't see their penis at all it looks like a big belly button in a way but it's actually their their penis so. oh what i found most fascinating actually is um the moms are only with them for four weeks and they're like the best moms in the world and then they go bye you're on your own and that as a species, they actually, what's that called? Mature. They know they don't, they fast for about eight months out of the year. So when they're here on the beach, they're here from about this time of year uh, to the end of January, as she said, sometimes into February, because this is mating season. But while they're here, they, they don't eat at all. So anytime you see them on land, they're fasting. And then males are bottom feeders and females are not. So they don't even migrate to the same places. They, they stay very separate. Yeah, they're solitary animals, which is interesting because when you see them on the beach, they're cuddled up together. They spend a lot of time snuggling. Yeah, but it's actually- Cuddle uh, puddles. I wish you guys could see it in January. This is like the very beginning of it. So we have some that have come in. But like last year, we were here in January. This whole beach was covered in them. They're cute. They fight. They make noises. Yeah, we're actually going to walk down to the other side of the beach way over there to go see two two pups that were born yesterday. And, and maybe show you guys some males. They're actually being kind of active down there and they're massive. Yeah, let's go check them out. Okay. 